Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to give you just a look into my planner and kind of um, just look back at how I decorate my planner throughout most of this year. Um, so I still have the same cover on, it's just one that I had somebody make for me. I do have like all the Erin Condren covers um, as well, but I have them packed since we are going to be moving soon. So this is still the cover I have on. I always keep my red pen here because I like to check everything off as I do them in my planner and you'll see that. It just makes me feel like I'm accomplishing and finishing things. And then inside I still have this uh, post-it pocket as I did before and I just keep my most used stickers in here. And then I have this Oh What to Eat, Oh What to Buy from Erin Condren, but honestly, I don't ever use it. I write my meals in my planner, as you'll see, so it just I should just take it out. Um, and then I have the... Um, I was going to use it as a dashboard, but I haven't set it up yet, but it's just a note pad page that I laminated and coil clipped in. And like I said, I was just going to put some post-it notes pads on it, and I haven't done that yet. And I'm just going to start at the very beginning and kind of go through every page to show you what I've done. Um, so this is what I was using for tracking my period. Um, as you can see, I only put February in so far, and March, um, I am on the depot shot now, so I probably won't even get my period now for three months, so I'm not sure if I'll continue using this or not, but that's what I had planned to use it for. And then the first... Uh, Thing that I decorated was the January month and at this time I was using these bills to pay list where I would write down the bills the amount and when it was paid and this I believe was from Lily Henry and then I had these um, bill due and payday stickers from Pink Elephant the gymnastics and swimming stickers are from Chrissy Ann Designs as well as the scales from Chrissy Ann Designs and then the winter break and schools back in I made those ones just on my silhouette so that's how I was using the month in January. And then this is my first week that I planned. And um, I have these no school stickers that I made myself. I was tracking weather. I don't do that anymore. Um, I'm not sure why. Just I didn't seem to look at it very often, so I kind of found it pointless. Um, and I was breaking down the goals by to do, to go, and to call. These are from Chrissy Ann Designs. Um, I love using these little cleaning and vacuum stickers from Scribble Prints Co. And I made the laundry one. Um, this shopping one is from Chrissy Ann Designs. This one is from Scribble Prints Co. Um, I'm not sure where those ones are from. And then, let's see, the bath time ones I made. This is obviously New Year's, so I kind of decorated that up. And that's the rest of the week. I was tracking my bills in here. I've stopped doing that. I'm doing my bills in a different book now. So that was my first week of January and the end of December. And then this week I didn't use my notes section. Um, I was tracking my meals at the bottom and just writing them in. I started um, with these little TV stickers that I showed in my last video that I just made myself. Um, I haven't been using those lately and I'll show you what I'm using now as we go through the planner, but um, here I was marking off with washi tape for the weekend and I was using a weekend banner. I've kind of changed things um, as I've gone along, as I've gotten new stickers or realized what I use and what I don't use. And then this was the 12th to the 18th and again I was marking off, writing in my meals, my TV shows, when I worked out. And then on the side, I've just tracked like my top, you know, five or six things that I need to get done for the week. And as you can see, I like, like I was saying, to check off things. I don't like crossing them out. I find that looks messy. Um, I tried using like little check mark stickers, but I physically like to check mark off things. It just feels good for me, and yeah, I just love it. So I do that all the time now. So that was that week. And then this is the month of February. I decorated, obviously, for Valentine's Day. Again, using the bills to pay, um, the stickers from Chrissy Ann Designs, the ones that I made, and then, again, just decorated with stickers from the Michaels, like, $1.50 little booklets that they have. And then this was um, January as well, and I started using these dots, and these ones, I believe, are from... I want to say Ollie Emil on Etsy, um, but Chrissy Ann Designs makes them, so I have some of hers too, and I just, whatever colors I need, I use them depending on which ones I have, but lots of um, the Etsy stores carry these. 
So again, same thing, just track my meals, bath nights, doctor's appointments, um, preschool, my cleaning, shows that I watch, all that kind of stuff I track. And then this week I tried something different. I got these stickers here. It's all one sticker to do, to go, to buy, to watch. And I got this from Scribble Prints Co. And honestly, I didn't even use it. So that was the only week I tried using that sticker. And then I also got these stickers that week that were meal planning stickers from Scribble Prints Co. And you can put your three meals in there. So I tried that and it wasn't too bad. But um, it's the only week that I did that. And you'll see how I do the meals after that. Um... And this week I also tried, again from Scribble Prints Co., I got these stickers that go over the morning, day, night, and I tried separating it by to-do, reminders, and home, and I hated it. I couldn't stand it. I felt like my, like, appointments took up more of the day, and I was running out of space. Like, this doctor appointment should have gone into the reminders, but as you can see, I already had three things in there, so I had to put it under home. Um, so it it just didn't work for me. My brain works better morning, day, night, but I saw a lot of other ladies doing it and I thought, oh, maybe that's a cool idea and I thought maybe it'll work for me, but it doesn't. And I separated off the weekend and ran washi tape along the bottom. And then this week, obviously, I went back to morning, day, night and I decided this week to try and use no stickers and use stamps because I bought a ton of planner stamps thinking I would love them and stamping I realize is just not for me so as you can see I have stamps here all of these are stamps I did use a few stickers as the week went on because I realized I wasn't liking it very much um, but I did that I have the hydrate in here and I didn't even track that like all week except for the one day so that was kind of a waste I use this stamp here for tracking the meals and then again I wash it up and this week I kind of fell off the bandwagon just I think because I wasn't liking the layout I wasn't as motivated to look at it so I didn't even fill in the Sunday there so that week was kind of a a wash but then we go into this week and again I went back to using the dots I really like this I alternate the colors um, with the whatever the month colors are so red pink red pink in January I did the orange and the teal and I went back to using stickers which are the scribble prints co stickers for um, meal planning and again Chrissy Ann Designs uh, forget where that one came from I did use a stamp here because I didn't have a sticker I used road washi here because we went to on a vacation and that was just that week and I was away at this time so I didn't do too much decorating but that was how that week turned out and then into March I really like my March spread I put a ton of stickers to decorate and I just think it looks really cute I marked off spring break and then I washi taped um, the whole time that my youngest daughter will be off school I made these preschool stickers and the no school stickers um, the doctor swimming and gymnastics are all from Chrissy Ann Designs the music sticker here is from my wedding planner um, what else spring break I think was from Lily Henry I want to say in her school little school kit um, but don't quote me on that I'm not sure so in the month spread now I just track anything appointments or um, anything school related um, just like my major things I need to remember is what I track in my monthly spread I haven't found a use for this side yet I was thinking maybe monthly goals but again um, just not sure yet so that's my month spread for March and then in March this was kind of like the end of February one day of March. Um, I went back to writing things in. Didn't use too many stickers this week because again I was partly away for the beginning. Um, and then I made these meal planning stickers um, in the month color so I started using those and marking off the weekend again. I really like marking off the weekend. It's nice to like visually see that these two days you know we have pretty much an open slate. The kids don't have school that kind of thing. Oh, and another thing on that week is at the top, I like to sometimes use these teardrops to remind me of like important things like that my daughter had no school um, and my, both my daughters didn't have school that day. So I like to do that. And oh, sorry. And as you can see here, I started using these little circle stickers from the Target dollar spot and I started stamping on them. So instead of using my stamps on my planner, I thought I'd try just to make stickers ahead of time. And I actually don't mind that. So I might... Um, start doing that more often and see how that works out because I don't want to get rid of my stamps I really like them it's just um, I find it a pain in the butt to sit and stamp and wash them each time but if I 
you know, sit down one day for an hour and make a bunch of different stickers with different stamping on them, maybe I'll use them more often. So, again, I will see how that works when I get around to it. Um, this next week, again, alternated the dots, used my meal planning stickers, which I actually really enjoyed doing that. Um, I made these stickers um, where you put the time and the whatever appointment we had, and I really like that. So that's how I used that. We had a sick week, so a lot of things were cancelled, but that was that week. And then this was the next week, and I just wrote in... I keep switching what I do with my meals, and I'm not sure why. Some weeks I write them in, sometimes I use stickers, but I prefer to use stickers. I like the look of them, obviously, but this was my birthday week. And then the next one here, again, loving the dots to write my top things that I want to get done in the week. And I really like tracking my cleaning, my meals, appointments, bath, like pretty much my whole life. It's like a journal of my life, really. And I like to be able to look back and see things, what I've done, that sort of thing. Started back with the stickers again this week, still loving this. And this week was a pretty full week. Um, it's getting close to my wedding, which is April 24th. So I have a lot of wedding stuff I had to do as well. And this is today. I slept and I did my meal plan today. I spent the afternoon grocery shopping with my mother-in-law. Um, I'm going to be bathing the kids in a little while. And obviously filming this video. And that will be the rest of my day. I'm having ham and scallop potatoes tonight. And then I did decorate um, the month of April. And I really love it. Some of my favorite colors are in this month. So... I just put some of this egg washi from Target down here where it was just like the blank dates. And then I did my Easter day there. This is spring break, as you can see, or Easter break they call it at her school. Um, so I just tracked that here and then put no school kind of in various spots so I know. The school is back in. And then I put my appointments as well. And then on the 24th, I'm getting married. Yay! So that's my wedding day, and I kind of blocked off the next day because it'll kind of be a write-off. I'll be visiting with the family that's coming to town for our wedding. So that'll take care of that. So that is my April month decorated. And then this is what, how I've decorated this upcoming week. Again, use the dots, and I kind of split it up between the two colors that are happening right now, which is the purple and the green. Put eggs around. And then these stickers here, I'm going to try out. They're meal plan stickers from Ollie Emil on Etsy. And I'll leave a link below for her shop and any other shops that I mentioned. Um, here, this one's from Hello Ashley Ann. Just a little backpack to mark preschool. And then, um, what else did I do here? Easter break. Again, you see my little sticker here. It's a teardrop from Martha Stewart. I just wrote school pick up at 1130 because I have to pick up my six-year-old from her school. Um, and then I have to pick up my daughter at noon from preschool. So that will kind of be a rushed morning or uh, midday. But And then Easter break starts for my oldest daughter. And then a weekend. And then this is Easter. I kind of blocked off the morning because we'll be doing our Easter egg hunt and whatnot. And I left the rest of the day open because I'm not sure what we're going to do yet. But that's my current week. And what else? That's about it that I have in here. I'll kind of see if anything's changed in my note pages since I'm giving you an update in here anyways. I still have my Christmas budget page in here, which is where anything that I buy um, throughout the year for Christmas, I write it on here. There's a few more things I need to add, but that's there. And then I've updated my books to read list. Um, I think last time I only had two things written on here. Anyways, there's a lot more books on here, as you can see, that I want to read. The next one I'm planning on reading is um, Planning with Kids by Nicole Avery. I just finished the Say Goodbye to Survival Mode by Crystal Payne, and it was a really good book. And then I had made this to track movies that I wanted to see, but I haven't been using it. Um, Doctor Visits, I showed you guys that one last time, and I haven't had to use this because my kids haven't gone to the doctor for a while. I don't use it to track, like, when they get a cold usually, unless I have to take them to the doctor or if they're sick with a stomach flu and I don't take them to the doctor. I don't track it. I want to make a separate page for um, symptoms though. So if I end up having to go to the doctor and they've been sick for three days, I can say, oh yeah, you know, she's been feeling this way for three days or four days, that kind of thing. So not sure what I'm going to do there. So I still have my pens list in there. And then this is just my wedding guest list. 
so that's that. And then I did make this task tracker for the months, January to December. All the things I want to complete each month, like read one book, change the air filters, clean out the fridge. As you can see, I did a horrible job in February. March I did good, I just haven't actually checked it off yet, but I really am enjoying that. And I got this idea from Jen Plans, I believe is her name, on Instagram and YouTube. Um, so yeah, I got that idea from her. And then I think that's all that I have in here. Oh, maybe not. The 52-week challenge. I've been so bad with this year. I haven't even started at all. So that's just sitting there. And then I have my ink samples, which I'm not sure if they were in the last video, but I have my Versa Magic Dewdrop and my Distress Ink Minis. And then my pocket doesn't really have anything in it. And I never really use this pocket because I have the post-it pocket in the front. But that is the updated look on my planner. If there's any stickers that you would like to know where I got them from, please just leave it in the comments. Um, and I can try and let you know what Etsy shops I got them from or which places I got them from. Um, I do keep my Pilot G2.7 blue pen in my little pen clip and the red one in here, like I said. Those are my go-to pens that I use every week. Um, what else can I say? I guess that's about it. Um, as I've said before and in a couple other videos that um, if this is going to be your first time and you're interested in buying an Erin Condren planner, I have a link that I will leave below that will give you $10 off of your first order. They will After you register on their website, they'll email you a $10 off coupon. So that's an option for any of you first time buyers, but I love my Erin Condren planner. I can't wait to order my next one. I think the new ones come out in... June. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. And again, if you have any questions, please um, comment below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks